Nearly 1 million people in the U.S. are living with Parkinson's. Yet about 40% of these patients are not seen by a neurologist or Parkinson's specialist. A team of MIT researchers led by Professor Dina Katabi would like to change this situation. They have invented a wireless device that looks like a home Wi-Fi box. It uses machine learning to analyze patients' movements from the radio waves that bounce off their bodies without the use of any wearable sensors. The device measures Parkinson's symptoms and medication response at home. Professor Katabi and her students have collaborated with Parkinson's doctors and clinicians to deploy their device in 50 homes to monitor patients' symptoms and their response to medication. Their results show that the device is more sensitive than the medical gold standard in tracking disease progression. One big challenge in Parkinson's disease is to pick the proper medication dose for each patient. And the device can help the physician doing so because it shows them whether the walking speed of that patient is fluctuating, oscillating throughout the day. So here you see an example patient. You see that their walking speed is fluctuating throughout the day. And here you see the same patient after the doctor changed their medications. And now you can see that the walking speed is flattened and you don't see the same oscillation that you saw on the previous figure. This study demonstrated the power of measuring health at home. Using a simple radio wave device, we were able to measure how fast or slow individuals with Parkinson's disease walk in their natural environment. And because the measure is objective, sensitive, and meaningful, walking speed is associated with mortality, we can use it to evaluate new treatments for Parkinson's disease with fewer number of participants in a shorter period of time. MIT PhD students Yingqing Leo and Guo Zhang worked on developing the algorithms for interpreting the output of the radio device and enabling it to track Parkinson's disease. The results of the study were published in the Science Translational Medicine Journal.